Welcome to our journey through time, as we explore the rise of artificial intelligence, a journey through history. Let's dive into the dawn of this fascinating field, the inception of the idea of artificial intelligence. The notion that machines could one day mimic human thought processes was once a concept confined to the realms of science fiction and imaginative storytelling. Yet a handful of visionary individuals dared to dream it could become reality. Alan Turing, a British mathematician and logician, was one such individual. His pioneering work in the mid-20th century laid the foundation for what we now know as artificial intelligence. Turing proposed a simple yet profound question. Can machines think? This query would go on to inspire countless debates, experiments and innovations in the years to come. Turing didn't just pose the question though. He sought to answer it as well. He introduced the Turing test, a method to measure a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior indistinguishable from that of a human. This test was groundbreaking. It provided a tangible goal for the burgeoning field of AI, a standard to strive for, and a challenge to the preconceived notions of what machines could do. The idea of artificial intelligence was now more than just a concept. It was a field of study, a challenge to be tackled, a dream to be realized. Yet, the road to actualizing this dream was long and winding. Theoretical work and philosophical debates had set the stage, but the technology to make AI a reality was still in its infancy. The concept of AI was born, but it would be several decades before it would become a reality. The mid-20th century marked the birth of AI, but it was a birth fraught with challenges. In the summer of 1956, a group of bright minds gathered at Dartmouth College, New Hampshire. These pioneers, brimming with optimism and armed with the belief that machines could mimic the human mind, defined the concept of artificial intelligence. This landmark event, known as the Dartmouth Conference, is widely considered the birth of AI. Their ambitious project sparked a surge of interest and enthusiasm in the field with many believing that a machine capable of replicating human intelligence was just around the corner. However, the road to realizing this dream was not a smooth one. The early pioneers faced several technical challenges. The computational power and data storage capabilities of the time were limited, making it difficult to develop complex algorithms and process large amounts of data. Furthermore, creating a machine that could understand and learn from its environment was a task far more complicated than initially anticipated. In addition to these technical challenges, the field also grappled with funding issues. Despite the initial excitement, the slow progress and lack of immediate tangible results led to a decrease in funding. This period, known as the first AI winter, was a time of reduced interest and investment in AI research. But let's not forget, every winter is followed by a spring. These early setbacks were not the end of AI. Far from it. They were merely obstacles on the path to progress. The flame of AI was not extinguished but merely dimmed. The pioneers knew that they had embarked on a journey that was long and arduous, but they also knew that it was one worth taking. These early setbacks were just the beginning. The flame of AI was not extinguished, but merely dimmed. The 1980s and 90s brought a resurgence of interest in AI, fueled by new technologies and fresh perspectives. During these decades, the world witnessed the advent of new technologies that would redefine the course of artificial intelligence. One such technology was the expert system. Built on the foundation of knowledge engineering, expert systems are computer applications that mimic the decision-making ability of a human expert. They became the dominant form of AI during the 80s, and their applications spanned from diagnosing diseases to configuring computer systems. But the 80s and 90s were not just about mimicking human expertise. They were also about learning from it. This was the era when the concept of machine learning began to take shape. Machine learning algorithms, with their ability to learn from data and improve over time, brought a whole new dimension to artificial intelligence. They were no longer just mimicking human intelligence, they were learning from it. The rise of machine learning also gave birth to a concept that would become a cornerstone of AI, neural networks. Inspired by the human brain, neural networks consist of interconnected layers of nodes or neurons. These networks learn from examples, 
and their ability to recognize patterns and make predictions brought a new level of sophistication to AI. Among the key breakthroughs of this period was a moment that shook the world, IBM's Deep Blue defeating the reigning world chess champion, Garry Kasparov. This was a defining moment in the history of AI. It was a clear demonstration that machines could not only mimic human intelligence, but also surpass it. The promise of AI was becoming clear, but the journey was far from over. As we entered the 21st century, AI was no longer a fringe science, but was becoming ingrained in our everyday lives. This was an era of rapid technological expansion, and artificial intelligence was at the forefront. It was the unseen conductor orchestrating the symphony of our daily life, from our smartphones to our cars, and even to our banking systems. Imagine every time you asked Siri to set an alarm, or Alexa to play your favorite song, or even Google Assistant to check the weather for you, you were interacting with a sophisticated AI system. These digital assistants, as we fondly call them, became the poster child of AI integration into everyday technology. They're not just answering our queries, they're learning about us, adapting to our preferences, and personalizing our experiences. But the integration of AI didn't stop at our living rooms. It ventured out into the world, revolutionizing sectors that once seemed impervious to such technological intervention. Take transportation, for instance. Autonomous vehicles have become more than just a sci-fi dream. They are on our roads, navigating through traffic, all thanks to the marvels of AI. In the realm of finance, AI has been a game changer, predicting market trends, automating transactions, detecting fraudulent activities. These are all tasks that AI systems are now handling with remarkable precision. And let's not forget the media landscape. AI has significantly influenced how we consume and create content. It's responsible for the personalized recommendations you see on your Netflix or YouTube feed. It's behind the scenes, analyzing user behavior and curating experiences tailored to individual preferences. As the 21st century progressed, AI's roots dug deeper into the fabric of our society. It was no longer a vision of the future, but a tangible part of the present. As we stand on the precipice of the future, the potential of AI is both thrilling and daunting. This technology, born from our own ingenuity, is growing at an astounding rate. It's like watching a child grow up, but this child has the potential to change the world in ways we can barely imagine. Imagine a world where AI systems understand human language with the nuance of a native speaker, recognize images with the precision of an artist, and generate text with the creativity of a novelist. This is not a far-off fantasy, but a future that's within our grasp. We're not just talking about machines that can perform tasks, but machines that can learn, adapt, and innovate. We're talking about a future where AI is not just a tool, but a partner. But with great power comes great responsibility. As we shape the future of AI, we must also grapple with ethical considerations. We must ensure that AI is used for the benefit of all, not just a privileged few. We must guard against the risks of AI, such as loss of privacy, job displacement, and the potential for misuse. These are not just technical challenges, but societal ones. They require not just computer scientists, but ethicists, policymakers, and everyday citizens to come to the table. At the same time, we must also recognize the incredible benefits that AI can bring. It can help us solve complex problems from climate change to disease. It can make our lives more convenient from self-driving cars to personalized recommendations. It can even help us understand ourselves better by shedding light on the mysteries of the human mind. The journey of AI is a journey through our own history, a testament to our ingenuity and ambition. And as we look to the future, we carry with us the lessons of the past, ready to shape a future where AI serves us, not the other way around.